Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling. I have a trip coming up, so I do need to make a slightly quicker video. So today we're going to be doing a tier list to follow up my big long review from the other day that covered all the Dark Angels units and sort of sort the Dark Angels into um, tiers of how I like them and how I think they function in uh, 40k in 10th edition. So, uh, first up we have Asmodai. Now I think Asmodai is pretty strong with the Inner Circle Companions. Rerolling all hit rolls is great. Uh, mainly because Oath of Moment can be a little difficult to coordinate for uh, melee, and you generally want to focus more on your shooting with it, but obviously it does have some overlap there, but it's hardly a bad thing. It also allows Asmodai to act more independently of the Oath of Moment's core special rule with his Inner Circle Companions. I would put him probably in... So this is he's probably going to end up in like middle A tier uh, of where I think he stands in terms of strength in the Dark Angels Codex. Now this is mainly focusing on the Dark Angels, their own internal balance, um, where I think they sort of fit in uh, against each other, really. Uh, Lazarus, uh, as I mentioned in my review, I think Lazarus is just unfocused, his damage output is pretty flimsy, and his uh, buffing rules are rather mediocre and are surpassed by pretty much everyone else, especially everyone else in Tacticus Armor. Uh, let us put him in a C tier. Anyways, uh, we have the Ravenwing Black Knights, and I think the Ravenwing Black Knights are actually pretty strong. I think they have a good blend of durability, range damage, and melee damage with their Plasma Talons. I really like them. I like to run them, uh, not only as a uh, big damage combo unit, but also they're very useful in the later half of the game where the remnants of their unit can go off to uh, gather up victory points. I'm going to put these guys in top of A tier, and uh, here we have the Ravenwing Command Squad, which I think is an S tier, honestly. Uh, giving these guys fire discipline and gladius is really nasty, and the melee damage these guys add to the squad is really, really, really good. Uh, I really like the Deathwing Command Squad. Also helps with objectives given the uh, banner. Here we have uh, the uh, Dark Talon, which uh, is unfortunately pretty bad. Uh, it has some interest, but it's just way too fragile. I'm going to put him in C tier. Uh, Deathwing Knights, another S tier unit. Immense durability, immense damage output. They're really awesome. Uh, they can take the midfield and protect it from all comers and are very capable of seeking out and destroying whatever they are needed to. The standard Deathwing Terminators, on the other hand, I think are probably more of a B-tier unit. They're more of a side grade to the normal ones given their increased cost. While they are upgraded, I don't think it's in such a way that they're like strictly that much better. The Plasma Cannon is very solid in uh, Inner Circle Task Force, uh, but overall, yeah, I'd probably put them B tier compared to the other Terminators, I'd say they're not as good. Uh, I'd say I would put normal Terminators there, and I'd say they're probably worse than Assault Terminators as well. Uh, next up, we have Ezekiel. I'm going to put Ezekiel in high B tier uh, because I believe he does have some uses, but you kind of have, a very, have to have a very specific thing. He's not as plug and play as other units. If Chaos is running rampant in your local meta at tournaments, um, bringing Ezekiel seems like a very solid choice, given how good he is against Chaos units, and his buff is solid, but again, he's, like, if you're bringing Ezekiel, he's mu very much like a specialized tool, he's not a take-all-covers tool, but he still is very strong in that in that way, so I'm going to put him at the top of B tier. Uh, next up, we have Belial. Uh, I'm a very outspoken Belial hater. I didn't like his model before, I don't like his model now, I don't like his rules before, and I don't like his rules now. I think he's very uninteresting and boring, and I think he is the worst unit in the Codex, even though I know the planes are worse. I just hate Belial. <laughs> um, next up, uh, Inner Circle Companions. These guys are going to go up in S tier as well. I think the Inner Circle Companions are very, very solid. I think their damage output is devastating enough to make it worth it. They also take buffs really well. Their protection for characters is very solid. Uh, overall, just a great, great unit. Next up, we have uh, Azrael, who, unsurprisingly, is still the best unit in the Codex. I'm actually probably going to drop these guys down to right here. Uh, Azrael, he generates a command point, has a really good gun, a really good melee weapon. He can lead just about any squad. He's a good in just about any squad. And overall, is just a jack-of-all-trades, master of all, pretty much. There's not a single place where I'd say he is particularly weak. And he excels in just about every detachment, in just about every list, given how much he gives to your army. Next up, we have the Lion himself, and the Lion, I think, is an interesting unit. I think he can either dominate or very much flounder around not doing much, uh, depending on how you play him and the opponent you're facing. Uh, overall, I'd say he is strong enough to be worth taking and building some of your army around, 
but I think he's a unit that you need to play a good few games with before you really get down exactly how you want to use him. I'm going to put him uh, just behind Asmodai, just because Asmodai is cheaper and a little easier to use. Next up, we have the Nephilim uh, Jet Fighter, which is even worse than Dark Talon. Its shooting is rather uninteresting, and its uh, overall durability is uh, just as bad, and overall it just doesn't do all that much in general. Samael, uh, I do like Samael's model, which does pain me, because I don't think he's particularly good. Uh, I don't think he's worth it over a command squad, and even if you were running multiples of Ravenwing Black Knights uh, to lead him with, or without Riders, for example, um, I just think, like, Samael is just in general worse than most of them. In most detachments, you'd be running them, and you could get advance and charge, uh, and the plus one to advance and charge from the biker, uh, from the champion, is a huge help in itself. And his damage output isn't necessarily better than the normal Black Knights. Uh, he's more so just a side grade, given how his plasma cannon works. And his sword is pretty much the same as the champions, just with sustained hits too, which I think the two extra bodies from the command squad definitely make up for to close the gap there. It's unfortunate. I do like Samael's model, but I just don't think he brings enough to the table. It probably needs to be about 15 points cheaper before I consider taking him. Now we have the uh, Landspeeder Dark Shroud, which I'd say is probably the weaker of the two just for the fact that while its durability buff is nice itself it's just not tough enough it has no damage output it's essentially 115 points for stealth since cover so easy to come by and a lot of the death the dark angels are already super tough as it is well it could be useful to protect hell blasters i'd rather just put them in a repulsor that has a bunch of guns that will also keep them safe really i just don't think the dark shroud has much of a place in the army, uh, now that the Storm Raven thing is not really a thing anymore. Overall, I'd put it above the Flyers, but not by much. And the Landspeeder Vengeance, I've also been a vocal critic of. Uh, the Landspeeder Vengeance is really just nothing special. If its Plasma Cannon was 2-3, as I've said before, it would be so much better. But at its points cost, it just does not do nearly enough damage to be worth bringing. As much as I love it, it hurts me to say it, it's just not good enough. Its plasma cannons are too uh, too ineffectual against uh, too many targets for 140 points when you could be bringing something like a Predator Destructor or uh, really any other armored firepower. It's just a shame that the land speeders are not very good, but uh, it is what it is at the end of the day. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I have been Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.